Up for sale, 1965 Impala wagon. I'm gonna walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 65 Impala wagon, finished in correct, Madeira maroon with maroon interior. 409, power glide automatic, power steering, power front disc brakes, 12 bolt rear, power rear window, loaded with original documentation and no rust. As always, I'm gonna go around it, point out anything I do see, fire it up and then drive it. So of course we'll start here in the front as always. And uh, before I do, no wind today, it's beautiful. The sun is perfect. And I got an amazing car that I can't wait to tell you about. Uh, where to begin on it? It was sold new in Virginia. I have the original title for it. And the first owner owned it until 1996. It's believed to be mostly original paint. And you'll see it as I go around it. Uh, again, a rust-free wagon is just hard to come by, of course. Um, I have the Protecto plate, the original manual, uh, some registration cards from over time. He documented the miles from a certain point. I'll show you when I get inside the car. From a certain point till he sold it. So it's 99,000 original miles on it. Uh, the interior is all original and it's beyond mint. I got the original carpet and the original floor mats in it. But anyway, let's start here on the front bumper. Chrome is super nice in front here. This looks nice as well there, you know, little little things from, you know, 99,000 miles, but of course, super nice. The grill is nice. Uh, all original metal. All the door corners, the hem, are all mint. Underneath is not even surface rust. I took so many pictures, I can't wait to post those all on the ad. Um, the hood fitment lines up pretty much the way you want it to be. Now, the hood's definitely been painted, and they color matched it pretty nicely. Now, here is where I'm starting to believe... And my friend, who owned the car for a while, actually two times, um, also believes it to be mostly original paint because it's got this checking. Let me move over here. You know, little marks like that. You're going to find some little things like this around the car, but you're not going to find rust. Let me tell you that. Um, all the glass is mint. I love these. No cracks in the dash. I'm, I'm, I'm going so out of track here. A couple little blemishes on the top of the hood here. Um, so let me pop the hood for you. It's not a numbers matching car, but it's a correct 65 409. Let me find the hood. Which has been rebuilt with an aluminum intake and a new Holly carb, which I did take a picture of. Harrison radiator, uh, power steering and power front disc brakes, which were actually just added on about a year ago. Um, again, it's got the Edelbrock Performer aluminum intake. It's a new Holly carb stock exhaust manifolds on there. Um, trying to think if anything else jumps out at me. Just standing here, I love the chrome uh, valve covers and the air cleaner on there. This is a, probably an original bottle. That's an original sticker there. But the inner fender walls are mint. The firewall is mint original. Underhood, I mean, a, attention to detail. And I love that they put stock exhaust manifolds and not headers. That's huge. Uh, it's got stainless steel exhaust, which from looking at the pictures, it shows like new. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, this looks brand new. I already know that's new. It's for, it, The disc brakes are drilled and slotted rotors. Uh, I have a couple original like advertisements for 1965 cars, and actually they show the wagon in there in Madeira Maroon. So I, I'll show you that when I get to it. That was pretty neat. Uh, the only thing that would make this wagon even better is gold lines. That's what my friend said, and I got to tell you, that would pop. Being a Corvette guy, a maroon roadster, a maroon coupe, with the gold lines is beautiful. I showed you this, the top of the wagon. Where do I, where do I begin? It's a nine passenger wagon. I know I mentioned that already. 
uh, the rear window is power and it works and I'll show you that here in just a second you see some like little minor stone chips there you see a little bit of minor checking there so again that's what we're we're thinking it could be original because newer paint won't check like this there's some marks here uh, the cool factor for this wagon is a 10 out of 10 there's not even bubbling in this whole line I'll show you the whole thing not a bubble in here. Mint. And then you see here, some of this checking. I'm gonna show you the whole side, then we'll start going in the interior. A little backtracking. more checking there the trim all this kind of stuff is mint as well and I know I mentioned it no cracks in the glass just wait till you see the interior the dash is beautiful but hold on Look how nice this is. And see, it's not painted over bolt. So this really is without a doubt, more than likely original paint. Weather stripping is nice. Uh, the door panels are absolutely original. Look at that. There's the VIN in place. I mean, these are some water stains here, but I got that little rag. Let me grab the rag, I'm sorry. I just want you to see through everything here. Now let me show you the uh, interior itself. Other than this small little, two little holes right there, this front bench seat, and this of course is little piping. This bench seat is fantastic. The carpet's so clean, it's not ripped. And then you got the original wagon kind of floor mat that goes from one side to the other, or at least a bench seat floor mat. Um, steering wheel is phenomenal. No cracks in the dash. The dash itself is mint working gauges the cold light works when you first fire it up uh, all the wood grain on the dash is mint this is an nos and i have the box for it here i actually wanted to buy one of those for my buick and then the gas tank door guard which i'll show you is nos as well 99 438 it's just it's just so pretty there's these advertisements there's the wagon and then there's the wagon there so of course both of those go with the car in here this one's not as important documentation which I did take pictures of. A couple of receipts, a couple, you know, registration, stuff like that. But this is what I figured was the more important. A little bottom section of the title. The original Virginia title. Uh, it was paid, uh, that's 1996. Owned it for a long time. Here's the uh, mileage, which he started recording in 68 at 17,000. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm too far away. 16,000 all the way through 82, 60,000. Then on the back through 93, 84, 892. So since 93, driven 15,000 miles. Original manual, which might have, 
I haven't actually looked through it, but maybe something in here. Sometimes they have things. No. But then I got the Protecto plate here. With this. Oh. Ooh, what is this? I didn't see this before. Hi. Uh, Chivalry, uh, Chevrolet Alta Vista, Virginia. Red, Madeira, maroon, tinted glass, belts, wiper, two-speed, power, power glide, push-button radio. Okay, interesting. And two mats, front and rear. Undercoating, that's why there's zero rust underneath. And then here's the protecto plate. I was looking for a sold new, like where the dealer was. I'll try and do a little bit more homework on that. Maybe I can locate that in the paperwork. But anyway, that's the paperwork. And then underneath the paperwork is just mint. You got seat belts as well in the front. Oh, let me show you the headliner. Headliner's beautiful. Yes. My dad used it. Very cool. Very cool. I used to sit in the little, that little yeah. yeah, I believe it. <laughs> Again, mint all the way up. Back to the original door panel here, which is just so nice. Uh, original carpet again, nice in here, clean. Again, some water spots, but clean. Back seat is mint. There's your original floor mat in the back with the original carpet. Just to show you the, the other door panels before I get there. A little more of the back seat. A little more of the headliner. Oh, but anyway, hold on. I need to show you the back window boot on. Okay. I showed you this. You got these, which is what you would use to step into the wagon, which is just, just a, again, so neat. Chrome in the back is so nice as well, just like the front. Uh, the trim in the back. So then what, what I was saying was this is NOS, this piece here. Again, you see a little bit more there and across. in here look how nice that is on both sides there's there's no rust there's no rust down in here anywhere this is nice I mean and then you go in here and there's still a, a trunk pan of course but there's no rust in here at all I mean it's still got the paint on it I remember one time I went and looked at a 62 Biscayne wagon. <laughs> First place I looked was here and I was just looking straight at the ground. It was just a monster hole. And I'm like, I'm good. I'm like, I'll pass on it. Got a really nice sound. Here's a little indent here. Really nice sounding exhaust. It's got a nice lopey sound to it. Not a single bubble.
but the shine as well. Whoever's been detailing this car over the years has been taking amazing care of it. Mint all the way up. Again, no painted over bolts. I, I didn't mention it on the last side, but they're not either. And you could just, I know you noticed that how solid every door fits when you shut it. You know, minimal, minimal effort. Mint, not painted over. Wow, that's nice. Yes, it is. <laughs> we were looking at your website. Well, you even have motorcycles and stuff too, huh? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, thank you. A little bit of dust. It's like the fifth person that's come up to me while I've been doing the wagon. But anyway, oh, I'm gonna fire it up. Uh, anyway, 65 Impala wagon, nine passenger, 409 power glide automatic, power steering, power front disc brakes, 12 bolt, power back window, original documentation. And I know I said I was gonna start it, but I wanted to show you, like here's the, the trunk pan underneath. Look how mint that is there. You can see up in the inner side there, 12 bolt stainless new shocks in the back. Just come over here, because like, where the spare tire holder would be, and that's just an unbelievable sound. So that, that's how the rest of the underneath looks. I'm going to fire it up. I know. Amazing, man. I know. Holy cow. Everything feels great. Steering's excellent. Brakings are, are like high, hard. For, and you know which direction you're going. Yeah, whose dad didn't have a compass? <laughs> and it's a GM compass. It's an NOS compass. compass. Wait, no, no, wait, look. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Yeah. It's got its own box. It's and cool. that light works. This car is awesome. I know it is. <laughs> I mean, you just get to give it like the slightest little bit of gas and it's like moving. 409. Can't argue with the big buck. 
can't argue with a 409. 409 big block. Yeah. I had this this idea about a podcast for classic cars. Yeah. It'd be called Classic Cars or Classics After Dark. Huh. Like 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 every two weeks, you know, pick a couple topics, sit there and just discuss. That'd be cool. You know. But I don't know who to do it with. Mm-hmm. It could be us. Yeah. It could be Dad and I. Except he's not that fun. To, yeah. Oh, I can't say that. He's going to watch oh, you this. Can have, like, different Sorry, people. Dad. You can have different uh, guests all the time. I know? could have different guests, like, yeah. Like ass. like friends of mine yeah. who are also... Yeah, who love people. classic yeah. cars, yeah. Pick a couple topics. Maybe they bring a couple yeah. topics to yeah. the table. Yeah. Like every two weeks. That'd be cool. Interesting, interesting. I just want to keep driving this thing, dude. It's so yeah, I know, I know. I'm pulling it. Uh, yeah, we're done. We're done. You can just park it behind the rift, mm-hmm. and then I'll, we'll move it later on. <laughs>